Schultz is the boys 13, 14, 200 yard butterfly. In lane number one, Riley Hickman from Davis Aqua Darts. Lane two, Stefan Keller, Neptune. Lane three, Robert Guerrera, Fallbrook. Lane four, your leader from this morning, Justin Lynch, Terrapins. Lane five, Diachi Matsuda, Palo Alto. Lane six, John Courtright, Nova, Virginia. Lane seven, Matt Abernethy. And then lane number eight, Scott Bowl. A good sign of a good swimmer is when they look big. They look really big in the water, and that's exactly what Justin Lynch looks like early here. He looks big, 25. 38 is a big time opening split, but he doesn't look like a 14 year old. He almost has the same kind of recovery. I mean, you hate to make comparisons to some of the top swimmers, but Lynch does kind of have the same type of recovery as Phelps. Well, Lynch has it's some- relaxed and big. He does, and he has some competition right here at the halfway mark. That's Riley Hickman in lane number one, who is looking smooth and strong, 54-2 for for uh, Riley Hickman as he's going to touch the wall first at the halfway mark. 54-6 for Lynch there in the middle. I think we're going to see Lynch turn it on here in the third 50, but Riley Hickman putting together some great outside smoke here. And Hickman has had his share of wins this weekend as well. Riley Hickman, I believe, won uh, one of the, either the 200 freestyle, I think he's also been in there in some of the IMs as well. So these two have been right on the lead for most of these 13, 14 year old events for the guys but now Justin well, Lynch taking over during that third 50. It, it looks like Riley Hickman took it out pretty strong front half but Justin Lynch is going to pull away on that third 50 and still looking very powerful here with 25 yards left to go. He is just separating himself from the field on pace to be well under the far, well right on the far westerns record. We'll see if he can get in there under the 152 mark. It's going to be close. 153 and change. 153-16 for Justin Lynch. Coming in for second is going to be lane number three. That's Robert Guerrera with a 158-4. And coming in third, Matsuda with a 158-7. Riley Hickman, your halfway leader, fell all the way back to fourth there. Kind of had to pay for that early speed that he put out on that first 100. Well, you got to give it to him. It's not easy to do in a 200 fly. And Knowing that it is a 200, if you're going to be bold and take it out with some quick front half speed, you know what's going to come. So 